The major broadcast news reports, uh, news networks ignore polls showing 78% of Americans want Citizens United overturned. This is over at MediaMatters.org, and this is astonishing. Four out of five Americans, roughly, want Citizens United overturned. And it absolutely is not just only slightly discussed. You know, the other day I was talking about how the ABC, NBC, and CBS had covered, as of a couple of weeks ago, had covered the the primary race to the tune of over 500 minutes of coverage, just those three television networks, and Bernie Sanders got eight minutes out of that. Hillary Clinton got 160 minutes out of it. Uh, Donald Trump, well, you know, it's just on it goes. But there were the, the minutes devoted to Citizens United, excuse me, to the fact that uh, a couple of billion dollars, perhaps as much as five or six billion dollars, will be spent on this election cycle. The amount of coverage, the number of minutes devoted to that by ABC, CBS, NBC, PBS, Fox, Sunday morning shows, ABC, Fox, and NBC, the number of minutes devoted to a discussion of Citizens United, which 78% of Americans say should be repealed and is one of the biggest problems in America right now, the number of minutes devoted to it was zero. So when conservatives aren't lying about things like poverty in America, because they're creating poverty in America and they really don't want to be held accountable for that, they're also doing a very good job of ignoring things. And this is the problem with a corporate, monopolistic corporate media. Now, why would the media refuse to even discuss the fact that four out of five Americans think Citizens United was wrong and should be repealed? Why would they refuse to even discuss that fact? What is arguably one of the most important issues of this election? Donald Trump points out, hey, all of his Republican colleagues are bought and owned by billionaires. He's the only one who's not bought and owned by a billionaire. On the Democratic side, Bernie Sanders says the same thing, essentially. Why does nobody talk about this on the Sunday shows? Why don't they talk about it on ABC, CBS, NBC, or PBS? Because, and this, by the way, now includes PBS and NPR, because they take now advertising. They don't call it advertising. They call it underwriting, but it's advertising. Because that 5 or $6 billion that is being raised right now to be spent on this campaign is going to end up in the coffers of these big network corporations. Of course. Bloomberg, unhappiness with the 2010 Citizens United decision cuts across Democratic and partisan and ideological lines. I had somebody call the show last week. I was going off on Citizens United, and he was like, no, no, we need more free speech. Corporations and billionaires should be able, you know, more people should be putting money into that. We need more free. Actually, the vast majority of Americans, that had to have been a shill. Because here are the actual numbers. That wasn't just a caller. It was, it was, it was a shill. Republicans, this is according to a Bloomberg News poll, Republicans oppose Citizens United at the rate of 80% to 18. Only 18% of Republicans support Citizens United. 80% are opposed to it. Among Democrats, it's 83% to 13%. And among independents, which by and large is, you know, just a, a word for low information voters, people who don't pay attention to politics, people who don't know what's going on. They watch football games instead of, instead of debates. Among independents, it's 71% who think Citizens United is wrong. I mean, th this is huge. This is consequential. This is a major issue. And then the Brennan Center goes on to point out, that uh, nearly 60% of all super PAC spending since 2010, since Citizens United, 60%. Now, we're talking hundreds of millions of dollars here. 60% of all that spending came from fewer than 200 people. In fact, they write, for the first time in decades, the total number of reported donors has begun to fall, as has the total contributed by donors giving $200 or less. In 2014, the top 100 donors to super PACs spent almost as much as all 4.75 million small donors combined. All campaigns, all elections, 100 people. 100 people, rich people, spent more on the 2014 election than 4.75 million Americans who made donations to political campaigns. And it is not discussed on the news. Childhood hunger is not discussed on the news. Poverty in the United States is not discussed on the news. 
The terrible state of labor in the United States, not discussed in the news. Net neutrality, not discussed in the news. And the four Republican lawsuits to take down net neutrality right now, not discussed in the news. The consequences of so-called free trade, not discussed in the news. You're listening to the Tom Hartman Program. Call 202-536-2370. Jimmy Carter was absolutely right. What we have in the United States now is an oligarchy with unlimited political bribery. 